Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my week 59 update of my fitness journey. So like normal, we are just going to go through what I did this past week and then I'll chat with you guys and then I'll show you some progress photos. So first off, um, I just wanna say I've been wearing this two piece matching set from Luca and Gray for like the past four days and this is the last day I'm gonna wear it before it definitely needs to be washed because it is so comfy. My next video is a Luca and Grey haul and I love everything I got. I'm so happy with everything. Yeah, so I just thought I would share this. If you guys want it, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. Okay, so week 59 was pretty consistent. Um, I just did normal workouts, Pamela Reef mostly. So starting off on Sunday, I did the 30 minute plan. It is the week eight and this is what it looks like. I did day one, which was like the ab and hit workout. Sunday is normally my shorter days to work out. So I did the 12 minute happy cardio with the 10 minute lower abs. I really like the 10 minute lower abs. It's very challenging. And then the eight minute six pack workout with Christopher. And this is really hard because she makes you hold like a plank for three minutes. Basically that's what it feels like. And I really can't hold it that long. Like it's just so hard. And then I also did the stomach vacuum, but I didn't film that. Also just want to add in here. We did go to Epcot on Saturday. So I did get some exercise at Epcot just like walking around and I was pretty tired after that um because I normally don't walk a lot like if that makes sense like I don't take walks moving on to Monday I did week nine of Pamela Reef's 45 minute sweaty plan and I will just show you guys what it looks like um, you can find these on her Instagram. So first I did the boxing warm up. I really liked that. It was kind of fun. Um, then I did the 15 minute sexy back workouts. Very challenging, especially with weights. And then I did the 10 minute boob lift. I really like that one as well. It really works out like the chest area, which I like. And then I did the 10 minute upper body workout. And then I did the eight minute abs hit workout with Jason Derulo. And I think I just said I did day one. No, I did day three, the upper body and hit workout. So I just wanna correct myself because it wasn't matching up. And the reason why I did the Jason Derulo one instead of the new video of Best of Hit is because it wasn't out yet because I did that on Monday and she didn't post the new video so I just replaced that one. Then on Wednesday I did the day two which is strong booty. So I did the 20 minute booty and thigh workout with weights. That's one of my favorites. I like that one a lot. I did not do the get stronger one because I think I did that and I just really didn't like it. So I searched on her channel and I found the two in one flat belly and round booty and I really like that one because it focuses on your abs and your booty and Wednesday is definitely my leg day and I also want to focus on my core this year as you guys know so doing the two in one that was a great workout for me to choose instead of like to get stronger and then I did the 12 minute grow your booty workout and I didn't do the stretch. I didn't really want to, but I think I did the stomach vacuum that day as well. Then I worked out yesterday because I really just didn't want to work out today. So yesterday I did day six of the abs and hit workout. So I did the 10 minute high intensity workout. One of my favorite workouts, it's super challenging. I still can't get through it. And then the 10 minute best of hit training. Honestly, I didn't really like this one just because it just, she just included hit workouts from her other videos and put it into one video. And I don't know, it just really wasn't my favorite. And then I did the 10 minute a lower ab, no equipment. And I really like that one because again, it really focuses on your lower abs. The only thing I really don't like is when you're in a plank and then you have to like scoop up your abs and stuff because I can't really do that and I don't really feel anything. I'm probably not doing it right. So I don't know, that's just something I wanted to include. And then I did the 10 minute abs and yoga. So that is what I did this week. Moving on to the updates, I don't have many updates for you guys just because this week was very consistent. So I am back to doing hula hooping for like about five minutes and it's getting easier because I feel like my waist is like smaller so it's easier to keep it up. But anytime I feel it going down to like where my bruise is on my side here, I just pick up the hoop and I don't like let it touch that area because it hurts really bad. Moving on to the waist measurements, um, I feel like I just like gained 
around my waist or I just measured wrong last time but I think it's more about 29 inches rather than 28 that's what I have on my list from a little bit ago like 28 so I don't know if that's like actually accurate okay so my weight is 136 40. Okay, so my weight actually really fluctuates so you can definitely see it just like goes all up and down And this is from the Eros scale app. I'm just teetering from like 137 to 135 but I do have some good news because my subcutaneous fat is now in the lower percentile so it's 18.5 the ratio of subcutaneous fat stored in your skin to body weight so my fat percentage has gone down which is really nice to know it's now in the blue area my fat free body weight muscle in addition to body fat everything's like looking good except for like my weight and BMI but I think that's just because like of muscle and stuff like I said but the biggest difference is that subcutaneous fat and I think that's pretty much it for the updates I am still continuing to do the stomach vacuuming which is really good I feel like it's helping I don't know if it's helping a lot because again my measurements are all like weird I think I need to have someone else measure me because like I can suck in and then like I can stick my stomach out like super far so I don't know like am I supposed to just like be relaxed am I supposed to be sucking it in I don't know again I think it's really helping my lower abdominals like the fat roll isn't like poking out as much as it did before so that is what I'm seeing and feeling in my body that's the biggest part of the stomach vacuuming that I see the hula hooping I'm not feeling any different I mean it does take energy to hula hoop but like I don't know if it's actually using my muscles because like I don't feel it a lot so I guess we'll just continue to see whatever it's just something fun to add into the routine when I want to do it um, moving on to the photos so on the left is Alex at the beginning of year two compared to now which is on the right and then here is the side view of that I think that is going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye